Hey, you guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel, a.k.a. Ray, and God has used me in this season of my life to be a prophetic voice in regards to kingdom marriages. With everything that I say, take it back to God in prayer. Make sure this word is pertaining to you in this season of your life. Ask the Holy Spirit for discernment on how to apply this message to your life specifically. But you guys, this is really a message from the Lord in regards to encouragement, okay? And God wanted me to release this message to encourage you kingdom wives and kingdom husbands who have been standing, relentlessly standing for your prodigal spouse, okay? Whom God has revealed to you who your kingdom husband is or who your kingdom wife is. And you have taken God at his word and you have walked out in faith, not by sight on what God revealed to you. And God is saying in this hour and in this season that he is so proud of you, that God sees your courage, that God sees your faithfulness, that God sees your perseverance, that God sees that although at times you have been tired and you have grown weary on this kingdom marriage journey, you have not given up. You have not turned your back. You have not forsaken the call of God over your life. And God says he sees you, okay? And he is getting ready to bless you. He is getting ready to fulfill the promise that he has spoken over your life. He is getting ready to shower down blessings more than what you are even able to contain. He sees your faithfulness and he has not forgotten about you. And God wanted me just to share these words of encouragement. And he gave me a couple of passages of scriptures that he wanted me to share with each of you. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and get into the first scripture, which is found in Romans 5. And we're going to start at verse 3. Okay. And it says here, not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance and perseverance character and character hope. And hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. God is saying that your suffering produce perseverance. Yes, you have been through multiple seasons of intense suffering and intense spiritual warfare, but God is saying that your suffering produces perseverance, okay? He is strengthening your resolve. He is growing your faith and your trust in him, okay? Your perseverance is increasing, okay? And from your perseverance, he's building in you godly character. Because of this kingdom marriage journey, we have learned so much. God has taught us so much as we walked on this journey with him because we're not walking alone. God has been walking beside us each and every step of the way. And he's making us more like Jesus. God is saying that he is able to see his son being formed in you. Christ is being formed in you during this kingdom marriage journey. God is saying that you are loving more, that you are more kind, that you are more uh, forgiving, that you have more long suffering, okay? That you are more patient, all because of this process that he's taken you through. It may have seemed like God was putting you through all of this and, you know, all this pain and this suffering. You didn't really understand why God is putting you through all of this. But at the end of the day, God was trying to form Christ in you. He was trying to make you more like Jesus. He was trying to make you more like him. And God is saying he can now see that those godly characteristics, they're now showing and God is proud of you, okay? And he says from perseverance, character and character hope, that we have a hope in Jesus. We have a hope in Jesus Christ. Whatever the will of the Lord is for our lives, we can rest assured that his will will be accomplished, okay? We have that hope in 
Jesus because Jesus has already finished the work. The debt has already been paid. All we have to do is walk it out. All we have to do is continue to walk by faith and trust that the Lord is going to lead us and he's going to guide us. And when the time is right, everything that he has spoken over our lives, it is going to come to pass. God is saying that he sees you during all of this. And he says that hope does not put us to shame. We hope in Jesus and God is not going to turn around and put us to an open shame and we've been trusting him and we've been resting in him and we've been taking God at his word and we've been walking by faith and not by sight. And although our circumstances do not look like what God has told us, we refuse to give in to the lies and the tricks of the enemy and we continue to forge out in faith. And God is saying he is not going to make you ashamed, that he is faithful. He that has called you is faithful to do it. He will perform it. The work that he has started in your life, he is going to finish it. This kingdom marriage journey is a part of the work that God has started in your life. And he is faithful to complete whatever he has started. And it says, hope does not put us to shame. Because God's love has been poured out into our hearts by the Holy Spirit. God has poured out his love into our hearts and he is not going to let us down. God will not fail us. God cannot fail us even when we are faithless. God is faithful because he cannot deny himself. So God is saying that he sees you. All the things that you have endured, you carrying this vision, you carrying this this promise, this spoken word uh, that God has given you, this dream that God has given you, you have been carrying this promise for so long and the labor pains have been so intense. But God is saying that once this vision is birthed, once this promise has come into full manifestation, that pain that you felt in one season, it will be replaced with unspeakable joy. It is going to be replaced with unspeakable joy in Jesus' name. God is saying to glory in your sufferings. Glory in your sufferings because he is working out everything that needs to be accomplished in your heart and in your life. It's all for a purpose and it's all for a divine reason. We are participating in the sufferings of Jesus. And God is saying he knows that this kingdom marriage journey is not easy, but that's why he called you because he has prepared you and he has equipped you to be able to endure, to be able to walk out this calling that he has placed over your life. And then God also brought me to James, the book of James chapter one, verses four through eight. And God is saying, but let patience have her perfect work that ye may be perfect and entire wanting nothing. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that give it to all men liberally and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering, for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything from the Lord. A double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways. God is saying, let patience have its perfect work. God is developing in you godly characters. And one of those characteristic traits that you are going to need in your marriage, when God brings the full manifestation of this marriage promise to pass, is patience. Let patience have its perfect work. Let God complete you. 
that you may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. God is making sure that you are ready and that you are fully equipped to walk out this promise because this marriage promise also comes with an anointing, a special anointing. He's going to use your marriage to be a blessing to other people to other kingdom wives and other kingdom husbands that are going to be coming in behind you. They're going to need your testimony. They're going to need your testimony to give them strength to continue their kingdom marriage journey. We are the forerunners for Christ. We are the forerunners for this kingdom marriage journey. This is not all for nothing. God is going to use every single thing that you have endured through, during this process to edify the body of Christ. He is going to use everything that you have endured during this process to edify the body of Christ. And God is saying, kingdom wives and kingdom husbands, if you lack wisdom, Ask of God. I know many of you have these concerns in your heart and you lack certainty of knowing whether or not God really gave you a kingdom marriage promise or did he really tell you this person is your kingdom wife or this person is your kingdom husband, okay? So you're not really confident in whether or not you heard God right, okay? You're not really sure if you heard God right in regards to um, this kingdom marriage promise, right? And God is saying that if you lack wisdom, if you need more understanding, he says, let him ask of God that give it to all men liberally. God does not have a problem with giving you wisdom, with giving you insight, with giving you understanding into his purposes and plans for your life. But God is saying, all you have to do is just ask, just ask him. If you're not sure that he gave you this promise and you're not sure whether or not he said this man or this woman is your kingdom spouse, he says in James chapter one, verse five, if you lack wisdom, ask, ask, and God that give it to all men liberally and abradeth not. And it shall be given him. God is saying he will give you the wisdom. He will give you the insight. He will give you the understanding. He will give you more revelation if need be. All you need to do is ask because God wants you to be for sure. He wants you to be, have certainty. He wants you to have peace. He wants you to know that you know. But all you have to do is ask. You have to do your part. But he's saying that when you do ask, don't ask, wavering in your faith. For he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed. You have to come before his throne boldly. God said, let us boldly come before his throne, asking for grace and mercy to help us in our time of need. You have to boldly come before God's throne and say, God, I'm coming to you in faith. Give me that wisdom. Give me that understanding. Help me to know for certain your will and your plan for my life. Let me know which direction that you want me to go in. Give me clarity on my kingdom spouse because I want your will to be done in my life and God would do it. Because we can't expect to receive anything from God if we don't have the faith to back up our request. Let me say that again. We cannot expect to receive anything from God if we don't have the faith to back up our request. Because a double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways. Don't be double-minded, kingdom wives and kingdom husband. God said what he said, and if he said it, he is faithful to do it. God is saying in this hour and in this season that he is proud of you, that he loves you, that he sees you, that he has not forsaken you, that he has not turned his back on you, that he knows exactly what you're going through, that he knows exactly what you're dealing with. 
and he understands, but he is working on you and he is working in you. God is saying that some of you are on the brink of a breakthrough, that your miracle is right around the corner, that your marriage promise is right around the corner. Don't give up. Don't give in. Stay consistent. Stay persistent. God sees you. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. And he's so proud of you. He is so proud of you. Give yourself a hug. Give yourself a high five. Begin to speak words of affirmation over your life because that is what God is doing. He is speaking words of life into you right now in this hour and in this moment and in this season. And he is saying to you, women of God, men of God, kingdom wives and kingdom husbands, well done. Well done that you have been faithful, remain faithful until the end. I love you guys and I will see you the next time the Lord sends me back with another word. Bye.